the two mirror impression technique for complete dentures. The two mirror impression technique can be used for any impression, but it is particularly helpful when one needs to capture the vestibular roll, such as for complete or removable partial dentures. The goal is improved visibility with full capture of the vestibule with a minimum of voids. In this video, I will demonstrate the technique for final complete denture impressions. Prior to final impressions, ensure that the custom tray with border molding is properly extended. See my videos on these topics for more information. Prepare your custom tray by removing any wax spacer and smoothing any sharp edges or areas of excess that might distort tissues or be uncomfortable for your patient. Blend any internal edges of acrylic or border molding that could distort tissues or cause discomfort if the tray is seated too firmly. Use acrylic burrs to adjust the tray if necessary. Place a number of holes in the custom tray using a number two round laboratory burr. These holes will allow release of hydraulic pressure to minimize displacement of movable tissues during the impression. They will also help retain the impression in the tray. Coat the impression with a very thin layer of adhesive and allow it to set for a minimum of five minutes. Use small disposable brushes or cotton tip applicators. There should be no pooling of adhesive on the tray. A thinner layer is actually more effective than a thicker layer. Place the patient in a supine or reclined position, which makes visibility easier with the added benefit of being more ergonomically comfortable for the operator. If the patient is fully supine, the tongue will naturally fall to the back of the oral cavity, blocking access to excess impression material at the back of the tray. The vast majority of patients do not have a problem with gagging using this technique. Place a couple of cotton tip applicators on the operator's tray for use during the impression. Instruct the patient to relax their lips and cheeks. This will make it easier to insert the impression tray. Begin with the clinician and an assistant, each with a mirror. Place the mirrors at the location of the canines and retract the lips and cheeks by moving the two mirrors until both the anterior and posterior vestibules are visible at the same time. By exposing the vestibular roll, impression material is able to flow to the depth of the vestibule without trapping air. This minimizes the possibility of voids or underextensions in these critical areas for denture retention. Prepare the patient for the impression. Lightly and quickly dry the tissues with folded gauze using cotton pliers to minimize repeated contact that could stimulate salivation. In the mandible, use a similar technique unless there is excess pooling. In the latter case, you may find that placing two to three folded pieces of gauze over the vestibules to be a better strategy. Remove them with cotton pliers just prior to making the impression. Remove the cap from the impression cartridge and express a small portion of material. Attach the mixing tip and express a small amount prior to loading the tray. Load the tray quickly using a slight vibration to cause the material to flow smoothly. Bring the material up and over the peripheral edge of the tray to ensure capture of the vestibular fold. Fill just enough to cover the surface of the tray with impression material. If the tray is filled fully, there will likely be excess material which can cause overextension of the flanges, distortion of movable tissues, and or gagging. Use a number 7 spatula to quickly smooth and pull material over the borders if necessary. With mirrors in position, place the impression tray interorally, beginning insertion slightly sideways and rotating it into position. Try to avoid impression material or tray contacting the lips or cheeks. Seat the tray in the anterior region first, aligning it with the labial frenum, and then rotating the back of the tray into place using slight vibration or wiggling until you see a continuous layer of impression material around the entire border of the tray. Seating the impression tray from front to back minimizes trapping air in the palatal vault. If there are any areas without impression material visible, continue to vibrate the tray into place until material becomes visible. Do not remove any mirrors until you see material around the entire periphery. After removing mirrors, use cotton swabs to quickly remove excess at the posterior borders of the impression to improve patient comfort. Then, lightly border mold. In the maxilla, Use circular and downward motions. Have the patient open wide and move their mandible from side to side to activate the pterygomandibular raphae and to mold the space available for the movement of the coronoid process. Exaggerate the outward and downward movement of the labial frenum to provide adequate relief for this important attachment. In the mandible, use border molding movements similar to that of the maxilla, including the exaggerated activation of the labial frenum. Additionally, have the patient lick their top lip from side to side to activate the lingual frenum and the floor of the mouth. 
have the patient close lightly and briefly to activate the masseter muscle. Stabilize the impression without pressure while it sets so it does not move and distort. Never leave a patient with a tray in their mouth as they could aspirate material or become distressed without help nearby. To remove the impression, pull up the patient's lips and cheeks and place a few drops of water at the edge of the impression. Move the patient's lips to help break the seal. Finally, before removal, use the tray handle to slightly rock the impression up and down until you hear a break in its seal. Then remove the impression quickly to minimize permanent deformation. Inspect the impression for accuracy, coverage, and absence of voids. See my video on the evaluation of final impressions. The two mirror impression technique is a method I developed to minimize voids and improve operator visibility and comfort. Try it for your next impression.